and torque on a closed circuit. In defining the torque or moment of a force, it is necessary to consider both an origin at or about which the torque is to be calculated, as well as the point at which the force is applied. As you can see in the first figure, given a lever arm R extending from an origin O to a point P where force F is applied, the torque about point O is a vector whose magnitude is the product of the magnitudes of R and F. Then the torque is expressively as a cross product. P is equal to R cross product of F. Now in the second figure, let's us assume that the two forces F1 at point P1 and F2 at P2, having lever arms R1 and R2 extending from a common origin O, are applied to an object of fixed shape and that the object does not undergo any translation, then the torque about the origin is T is equal to R cross product F. Where F1 plus F2 is equal to zero. And therefore, T is equal to R1 minus R2 cross product of F1 is equal to R sub 2 and 1 cross product of F1. Where the vector R21 vector R21 is equal to R1 minus R2 joins the point of application of F2 so that of F1 is independent of the choice of origin for the two vectors R1 and R2. Therefore, the torque is also independent of the choice of origin provided that the total force is zero. With this introduction to the concept of torque, let us now consider the torque on a differential current loop in a magnitude magnetic field B. The loop lies in the X and y plane, the sides of the loop are parallel to the x and y axis and are of length dx and dy. The value of the magnetic field at the center of the loop is taken as b sub o. Since the loop is of differential size, the value of b at all points on the loop may be taken as b sub o. Then the quantity within the parentheses may be represented by a cross product. dt is equal to i dx dy times a sub z cross product of b sub o. Or it can be dt is equal to i ds cross product of B, where IDS is the, ve is the vector area of the differential current loop and the subscript on B sub O has been dropped. Thus, magnetic dipole moment DM with units of A times meter squared is DM is equal to IDS. If we extend the results, we obtain for the differential electric dipole by determining the torque produced on it by an electric field, we see a similar result. So it can be dt is equal to dp cross product of t. Since we selected a differential current loop so that we might assume b, was constant through it. It follows that a torque on a planar loop of any size or shape in a uniform magnetic field is given by the same expression. 
then it derived to that T is equal to IF cross product B is equal to M cross product B. We should note that the torque on the current loop always tends to turn the loop so as to align the magnetic field produced by the loop with the applied magnetic field that is causing the torque. This is perhaps the easiest way to determine the direction of the, do of the torque. So let's do some examples. In this figure, we calculate the torque by using T is equal to IS cross product B. So the solution is the loop has dimensions of 1 meter by 2 meter and lies in the uniform field B sub O negative 0 0.6 AY plus 0 0.8 AZT. The loop current is 4 milliampere a value that is sufficiently small to avoid causing any magnetic field that might affect the O. Then we have T is equal to 4 milliampere times 1 times 2 AJ cross product of BO which is negative 0 0.6 AY plus 0 0.8 AZ. If we compute it, the final answer is T is equal to 4.8 AX and the unit is mi milli newton times meter. Thus, the loop tends to rotate about an axis parallel to the positive x axis. The small magnetic field produced by the 4 milliampere loop current tends to line up with the B sub O. And that's all. Thank you. Your picture perfect blue. Someday the moon, the moon starts.